Committee substitute. We've withdrawn the committee substitute that was previously adopted. Okay, now members, I uh, send up, we have before us now the engrossed version of the committee substitute to House Bill 12 that came over from the House. That's the bill that's before us now. I'm calling that bill up, okay? That's the bill that we have. Does everybody know what we're talking about? The committee substitute to House Bill 12 that came over from the House. Uh, that's not a committee substitute. No, excuse me, House no. Bill 12. They can't be in gross version of House Bill 12, and this is related to the law enfor the enforcement of state and federal laws governing governing immigration by certain governmental entities. Okay, uh, and that's the issue that's before us. And um, I move that House Bill 12 be reported to the full Senate with a recommendation that it do pass and be printed. Purple call. Chairman, sure. if I might ask a question before we call. Sure. It. It was my understanding, and, and at the time of at the time of the hearing on the committee substitute to House Bill 12, after it had been substitute House Bill 12 had been stripped and Senate Bill 9 that had passed out of the Senate had been placed there. It was my understanding that the representations that was made that were made to the public was that if House Bill 12 ever came back to life. If it were ever voted out of committee, there would be a public hearing on it. This is a public hearing, and the representation that I made or that I intended to make was, and I believe it's what I said, was if House Bill 12 were to come back from a floor vote, any different than it was, that we would bring it back to committee. But this bill has never been voted out of committee. This is the same bill that's been sitting in the committee. Well, apparently I misunderstood because my, my understanding was that there would be a hearing because we were telling members of the public that uh, House Bill 12 really wasn't before them anymore, and so the hearing was on on the substitute. And I worry that some people may feel like they didn't get an opportunity to have a full hearing on this version of the bill. Mr. Chairman, I urge passage. I beg your pardon? I said I urge passage. Okay. Senator Watson, uh, I think uh, what we talked about was that the bill had been to the floor, if it came back with a point of order or for any other reason, that there would be a public hearing if it was ever substituted. And so if there's a misunderstanding about it, I'm sorry. I think that we did take extensive testimony even after we announced that from people who were opposed to both Senate Bill 9 and House Bill 12. And so they continued to testify on that, even though that really wasn't the bill that was before us anymore. So uh, the issue that we have uh, before us now is uh, House Bill 12. Uh, I move that House Bill 12 be reported to the full Senate with the recommendation that it do pass and be printed. The clerk will call the roll. Sarah Williams? Aye. Sarah Watson? No. Sarah Davis? No. Sarah Harris? Aye. Sarah Hanna Hosa? Sarah Nichols? Aye. Sarah Shapiro? Sarah Wentworth. Five ayes and three nays. The bill will be reported favorably to the full Senate. Okay. Now, we've got which bills left here? Where do we stop? Which one? We were. Yeah. On the Apparently, it's 3079. Okay. Does someone have Senator Gould's bill? 3079. Okay, members, I'm calling up as a matter of pending business before the committee, House Bill 3079 by Darby. Uh, the Senate sponsor is dual. This bill relates to dealer agreements regarding the purchase or sale of certain equipment or machinery used for ag, construction, industrial, mining, outdoor power, forestry, and landscaping purposes. Um, Senator Harris moves that House Bill 3079 be reported to the full Senate with the recommendation they do pass and be printed. Call the roll. Senator Williams? Aye. Senator Watson? Aye. Senator Davis? Aye. Senator Ellis? Senator Harris? Aye. Senator Shapiro? Aye. Senator Wentworth? Aye. Senator Nichols? Aye. Senator Shapiro? Aye. Senator Wentworth? Aye. Senator Nichols? Aye. Senator Shapiro? Aye. Senator Wentworth? A
Nichols. Aye. Senator Shapiro. Senator Wentworth. Aye. Seven ayes, no nays. House Bill 3079 will be reported to the full Senate with recommendation that it do pass and be printed. Senator Harris moves that House Bill 3079 uh, be certified for the local and uncontested calendar. Is there objection? Hearing none. So ordered. Okay. Members, as a matter of pending business, I'm going to pull up House Bill 90 by Cook and Birdwell. Uh, Cook is the House sponsor. Birdwell is the Senate sponsor. Did we do that already? 478. By or, uh, this is a Birdwell bill. It relates to certain court costs associated with the offense of failing to secure a child passenger in a motor vehicle. Um, members, uh, Senator Harris moves that House Bill 478 be reported to the full Senate with a recommendation that it do pass and be printed. The clerk will call a roll. Senator Williams? Aye. Senator Watson? Senator Davis? No. Senator Ellis? Senator Harris? Yes. Senator Nichols? Yes. Senator Shapiro? Yes. Senator Wentworth? 